Ah, uh, how's it look? Right? Shields. Yeah, kind of annoying to work with. Shields, tridents, dragon heads, and elytra, right? They all are built by building an entity and then attaching said entity to the player because obviously they're more 3D, right? Because the shield, you have the little buckle. Well, it's not utilized super well, but yeah, you sell the buckle and obviously the trident is significantly longer than what's in the inventory, though a lot less detailed. Anyway, uh, shields, that's the first one we're tackling. Here it is, a nice turtle shield, right? I'm just playing around with the model. I haven't actually done the item yet. I don't know. How's it, how's it look? How's it feel? Does it look and feel like a normal shield? Kind of, right? It's more diagonal-ish, but I mean, the mechanic looks fine. And in the inventory, thing is a little bit better, right? So unlike the normal shield, it's actually directional. So if it's on the, the right side here, it's diagonal in that way, right? And then on the left side, it's diagonal in the other way. Yeah, I don't know. So it's a starting point at the very least. And once, you know, now I just uh, build the item so I can just draw in the sprites. They have to be the normal 16 by 16, but if I put them diagonal, I should be able to get away with, with now making shields trimmable, similar to our items, right? Which I guess is a little bit cool because they are trimmable in the normal sense, right? I can go over to this table and I've made it so you can trim shields just because I've effects that, you know, work by blocking. So it'd be nice if the shield's trimmable. But now I have the beautiful job of creating all the artwork, right? Because again, if you don't know, the way the trimming system works for armor, it builds the color palettes off of the trim material. The way it works for everything else is you have to do it. You have to, you have to do each sprite individually and then assign it individually. Meaning that if I want to do like Wayfinder with redstone trim, I need to come up with the sprite for that. And then if I want Wayfinder with lapis trim, well, I have to do that again. So fun times. Anyway, uh, what else? What else is there to discuss? Oh, the fishing rod. So if we spawn a husk, these now all have effects. So there you go. We hooked him and now he's dripping gold, signifying that he is suffering from one of the status effects. Uh, do I have the advancements? I do. I think Sunder is gold. I've sort of tweaked some of the particle effects. Do, 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 do. Anyone see it before me? Should have gone with one that was more easier to identify. Ah, oh, there we go, Sunder. So it reduces the armor of the afflicted. So anyone with those gold dropping particles has reduced armor, meaning you can do some more damage to them. But the simple fact is you can hook entities and you can now cause effects. So the, the hook on these little claws actually has proper functionality. So for instance, uh, yeah, yeah, Sky should be fine. Right, if we hook someone with Sky, after a few seconds, eight seconds, I think it is. So it could be, yeah. Anyway, there you go, get struck by lightning. So the the Sky hook is, is a bit more slow, right? Because it would be pretty insane if you just hook someone and then they just start, you know, dying by electrocution. Anyway, uh, I am going to work on more shields because not only do I need to figure out what exactly I want to do with this turtle shield, right? What effects, uh, if I want to give it trims, because I don't know if I leave it as a custom item or I make it part of the trim system. There's so many avenues that I could go down with with this and it all involves just making a bunch of art. So I'm going to get to work on the art and then hopefully we can just go through shields on this episode. The next big question is how do we want to handle the models of the shield. So I was sort of thinking, you know, small bucklers maybe. So uh, in black there, you can see the outline I could use for a shield. Cause again, we have to, instead of being able to use a, a big model sprite, right? Cause I, I don't know how to do that. We need to use a little sprite, a 16 by 16, right? So in the black is where I can put the shield. So for instance, it might look like this, right? So that's not a bad job. It's still uh, diagonal like the turtle shell shield but it's still the same color palette, if you will, as this shield, right? So I don't think that's horrible. It is obviously, it looks kind of weird being on a diagonal now, right? Even though it has all the same sort of assets as this shield, it being diagonal in contrast makes it kind of look uh, a bit weird, mainly the metal as well, right? I'd have to, I don't know, do some shading to make the metal actually stand and look like it's on the outer edge. So we can then also do a horizontal shield like this one. But then in contrast, Right, we have this detailed one versus now that. So they are very similar, right? We go like that, but you can tell that this is obviously, in fact, it's, it's the wrong rotation for starters. <laughs> Oops, uh, but this is significantly less detailed than this shield, which actually, you know, does sort of matter because as you can see with like the metal out and that just the percentage, it's not horrible. But again, to make the, the trim shields work, I need 
just a, a model that I can utilize. I think the best thing to probably do is just to come up with a whole new model, right? You're transforming this shield into something else and not really not really try and make it similar to the shield, right? Just have, again, you, unique sprite similar to the, the turtle shell shield, right? Probably little bucklers. So maybe just, you know, circular, uh, not the big rectangles. So idea is you sort of like, uh, you reduce the, the normal shield right, to, to craft in something else. I don't know, just flavor thinking, right? Anyway, back to back to artwork. Right, I think the shields are coming along nicely. So we have our normal shield, then we have our buckler shield, right? Not actually obtainable, but what you can do is trim the shield into the buckler. So if we chuck in the shield, a template and then a material, we now get a shield or buckler with Wayfinder plating from the Wayfinder smithing templates and then movement because it's lapis, right? Don't, I don't know if I'm too in love with the design choice, right? I like the buckler, don't get me wrong. This with the trim, eh, I mean, it looks all right. I was tempted to just replace all the silver with whatever the material is, but trust me, that does not look good. Ah, but yes, so I've done all 24 trims that I've added, right? That was a hassle. And then I'm currently working on these. Right, these are the Affinity Shields. So don't worry about the Mantle of the Piglin King. <laughs> it's just what was in the, the command block, right, last time. But these are a bit fancy. So when we block, they change, sort of, right? So on this, the spikes, quote unquote, they look kind of kind of bad as spikes. Uh, they extend, right? You can also see it in the little hopper. Gold, this one shines, sort of. I'll probably add in particle effects too, just to make sure they look proper. Like the first time you trigger this, it does like the flash particle. I think that could be cool. The ocean, right, just extends. Then ice gets a bit more frosted when you go to block. I don't know. I think the frost, the the base, right, as it is there, looks pretty cool, right? That, uh, I might have gone a bit too overboard. There might need to be a few more like little gaps, right, where the ice is forming. The ocean shield, I'm fine with. The gold shield, I'm fine with. This one... I don't know. I think I could probably do the spikes a little bit better. But yeah, we've got uh, eight more of those to do. And then the particles and then the, well, actually I don't have to do effects because the on block effects already work, right? You can have them on your weapon or you can now have them on your offhand. So that's all good. Back to, back to artistry, right? Well, it's been a long day, but I finally accomplished a decent chunk, right? So I've done all of the shields, finally. So they're now trimmable with nice custom models. So if we F3T, the last one in our inventory should show up. Right, so we have Ancient, Celestial, Deep Dark, Enchanted, Ender, Glacial, Golden, Nether, Overworld, Ocean, Sky, and Soul. And of course, we also have then the normal 24 trims that are possible, right? So I can chuck any of these in. Uh, do I have a template still? I don't, that's annoying. So I need one for what else we're going to show off. So just give me, I don't know, Wayfinder. Yeah, that'll do, right? So I can trim the shields, turn them back into a normal lapis shield, right? Or redstone or whatever else we chuck in there. So that's nice. Ah, but why don't we take a look at the actual animations, so to speak, right? Let me, oh, I was about to clean my inventory. More so, let me just get rid of all this, right? I don't want any of that junk. I don't want any of this stuff really down here. That can go, that can go. Yeah, all the elytras can go. Keep the templates and I'll keep the gold for now on the elytra because we'll go over that in a second because that's something else I have done. We'll make copies of all the shields. And so far I've only done the particle, right? But it should still look decent. So for instance, this is the nether affinity shield. So when you block, right, it catches a little bit of fire or at least that's what I'm going for. I have to up the flame particles. Uh, overworld, so spores, gold. I like the gold one. That seems like one of the best, right? So every time you initially block, it flashes. So you can use this to, you know, uh, like flashbang, so to speak, someone. Now you can also notice on the side there, there is blocking. And basically what I'm doing is making sure that it doesn't re-trigger. So it won't actually refresh the ability to trigger the, the block effect until I stop blocking, right? Scoreboard goes away, then I can block again. Glacial, uh, this is Ender. That one, I probably have to change to the reverse portal particles. Uh, Enchanted, Deep Dark, Celestial, Ancient. I think I'm getting right. It's been a while since I've tackled the affinity system. Then we have Ocean, Sky, and Soul. So Ocean, uh, I might end up going with something else besides Splash because it's just not, not apparent enough. I might go with Bubble Pop or something like that. 
sky, a little bit of electrical sparks, and then soul. I like the soul shield a lot, right? Just because <laughs> it's probably the most recognizable, right? You go from a little skull to a big skull and then some soul particles as well. Though their speed is a bit slow, they should sort of fly off, I think, right? And I'll give them all just a basic effect. So for instance, this might do slowness. So it's actually like you're stunning something, right? Or, or uh, get rid of the AI for uh, enemies or something like that, maybe. Nether, just set things on fire. I don't know, right? Just give them all nice, useful effects. Not too overpowered, but something. Now, the other thing that I have been working on is elytra. So I have made the elytra trimmable, but there is the same hurdle for the elytra as the shields. And that is the way Minecraft generates the elytra, right? Is it builds an entity and sticks it on your back. So using custom models, uh, just, you know, basic data, data pack stuff, you can't actually customize it, right? You can with Optifine and, and some other methods, but I don't want to delve into them, right? I want it to just be, again, download the data pack and you're good to go. So I need to come up with a different way to sort of, you know, make it look somewhat nice. And this is the best I could come up with so far. So if we trim the elytra with gold ingots, right? So now it's trimmed with gold. We equip it. Yeah, so now just particles spawn with gold. While you're flying, they extend out to the wings. Right, so it's like you're leaving a trail of whatever the trim material is. And then once we land, right, goes back to just being all over your back. I think that's probably the best I can handle it. Now, uh, this one, one more conundrum, and that is the trident. Trident is also complex because not only do you have the hand, right? So the icon down here is obviously a 16 by 16. Then we have a full entity model in our hand. And then of course we have the actual throwed tridents, right? So I don't know. How I'm gonna tackle that, I might have to go with a particle system just like the Elytra because doing custom models without just completely overriding everything is gonna be difficult and a lot of work and just doing the shields alone has taken you know longer than what I would like, right? I haven't actually made a lot of progress on the features this week. Uh, we're like third of the way done with hostile mobs and that's the next big thing to really finish off. Then we still have all the magic system, uh, weapon enchantments to do, uh, cauldron brewing, egg manufacturing, there's a lot of features I still want to get done, right? That I have sort of slightly worked on. I just need to finalize them and implement them. And yeah, stuff like this, the resource pack is just a big, big delay. So hopefully the shields are worth it. I think they're cool. I think it's a nice little touch. Again, gold's definitely my favorite, right? So if you look at the inventory, right? It shines some somewhat, right? When you block and then the flash, really like how that's come along. Anyway, we will leave it there for today. Hope you enjoyed. See ya.